all right, it's incredible to be a man with impact and just train yourself to respond with the responses that I give you, you know, more or less just deciding to stat response. But what if we could control our nervous system, change the way we respond rather than react because we are in control? I'm going to give you an exercise here for you to follow along with. That is how I specifically train myself to get away from safe reactions and moving into stat responses so that I could make the choice. That's the whole point. When you are in control of your emotions, this is a man. This is a leader. You're no longer a child who doesn't know how to control their emotions, okay? Now, most often, it's not your fault. This is the way you were raised, the programming, etc. I don't really care. I just know that this needs to be done because what happens is you get into survival mode, a threat-based stance, and you are trying to protect yourself. This usually will come from some form of insecurity, fear that maybe your wife is going to leave or you're not good enough, a threat-based state, which is not going to ever help you stat respond. It's going to help you safe react. So we want to make sure that we can overcome this as much as possible so that we have the choice. This is taking man with impact to a whole new level because you're not just doing what I say, you're actually training your nervous system. Now, this is not something that you can do here and there. This is a practice. That means that you have to practice. You have to keep doing it for a while. Will you have to do it forever? No. But I still get insecure and sometimes I'll think back and do the exercise and go, yeah, I needed to reset. I need to rewire a little bit. Why? Because you're undoing years and years and years of bad programming. Just you're safe reacting. We have to take those bad habits and replace them with new ones. So I'd encourage you to use this every single day. When you use it every single day for, I don't know, 90 days, 120 days, it's going to depend on the man with how bad, how deep seated the insecurities are. I did it for, I think, at least six months. And here's the thing, I didn't even realize, really realize what I was doing when I did it. So what you'll know now is that this is now working. It worked very well for me. It's something that I did that you can now implement and we'll just not worry about a timeline. We're just gonna focus on doing it until you can start to see in your marriage that you're choosing to stat respond rather than safe react. That's simple. You can also apply this with your children. You can apply this with any other relationship in your life. The point is simple. We're going to put ourselves into a deep, filled anxiety state. We're going to make sure that we are thinking about the worst case scenario, the things that make us feel terrible, that make us feel so threatened. And after that, we're going to turn it. And we're going to start to realize, I don't actually know what's going on. And when I don't know what's going on, I'm making a bunch of assumptions. So we can flip that immediately to what am I actually feeling right now? Is it about, it's about me. Be a man in power and realize I don't feel like I'm good enough or I don't feel like I'm a, a strong enough man or I've done a good enough job. I feel like I need something to make me feel better, i.e. approval, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And most often it is, again, based on fear, that threat based. So uh, I'll give you an example. I still struggle with insecurity today. The only difference is I respond rather than react. And most often, Catherine doesn't even know that those feelings are coming over me, or if, even if I'm feeling overwhelmed. Not too long ago, I installed cameras in the house for the kids' rooms and, and whatever, and one of the wires got cut in my son's room. And so, I mean, immediately, immediately insecure, threat-based, right? What was I going through? I was feeling like, Oh my gosh, why would Catherine cut the wire? I mean, it's impossible if the wires just chewed through. It's impossible. I mean, I looked at the dresser. I'm like, how did, like, I wanted to know, not really based off the insecurity, but I wanted to know what the heck was going on. Why is my wire cut? I put the dresser on top to see if it was squished. And here's the difference. So when you safe react, you start going into all kinds of things. Why is the wire cut? Well, that makes no sense. It's actually absolutely, absolutely not possible that this wire could be broken right now. Did you cut it? What's going on? Or maybe you're just still gentle sort of controlling it and you're like hey babe why is the why is the wire cut there's no reason why you'd want to cut the wire like something so you think is nonchalant in the moment and you're showing how insecure you are and jumping into the safe reaction mode so the difference when you respond versus react is i was inquisitive i was looking at the wire i really wanted to understand the logic i wanted to know what was going on still to this day have zero idea but i responded with well that makes no sense. Not to my wife. I responded to me. Well, that makes no sense. Why would my wife cut the wire in my son's room when there's no camera in the bedroom if she was having an affair and hiding it? Well, she just would have been in the bedroom, right? Or potentially the living room 
would have been the wire that was cut where they walk past to get to the bedroom. Okay, so this is the power of being able to control what you decide to do from the stimulus, right, in between the gap to where you either respond or react. What happened was I maintained my cool. I actually was actually I had to be there, man up. My wife was terrified. She was wondering why a wire was cut. Was there burglars in there? Did somebody come see our son? Did somebody try to take him? Did we sleep through it? Blah, 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 blah. Well, if I'm in my safe reaction mode and I can't control this anxiety that I'm feeling, the threat based of insecurity of, am I actually good enough? Why would my wife cheat on me? Am I doing something wrong? All the way that this can go, right? Then all of a sudden, I wouldn't have not been able to be there to love my wife through it, to be there as her rock, as her leader. Figure it out. Did we come up with a solution? Absolutely not, but I was able to be there for my wife to get all of her feelings out, ride her emotional roller coaster, reinstall a new wire and get the camera working again and make my wife feel safe and good. Not only that, we ended up coming with a different plan for the camera, which made her feel safer and better than ever. And like, so you've got to be able to respond this way. So go through the exercise every single day. I'm gonna run through the exercise once. The first time I go through the exercise, I'm gonna do just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna base it off cheating and, and insecurity because that's a pretty common one, right? We don't feel like we're good enough. This could be for anything that you get anxious over. Then I'm gonna run through it once more. When I run through it the second time, I'm just gonna just give the instructions and all you have to do is let your mind go wild until I tell you to control your mind. That's simple. You're gonna realize and you're gonna learn by being in this state, you are still okay. Nothing is happening. Nothing is wrong, and it doesn't matter if in real life something is terribly wrong. The, the simple fact is, excuse me, you need to be in control no matter how bad things are. Think about it like this. Let's say a car rolled over on the highway. Most people don't know what to do. I'm the guy that gets out. You call 911. You pull the people back over there so we have more space. You grab some water. Like, uh, you need to be able to respond not react. And this is even more important if you're trying to create that safe container in your home. 